Number 29 on our house inspection checklist refers to plants that have been growing next to your building or even attach themselves to your building. Now I've seen numerous varieties of plants growing on people's homes and I've got to say they look fantastic. I love the way they look. I mean if I had a house and I didn't know anything about the destruction that these plants could do, I would probably do the same thing. However, I've seen some of the damage. I've seen plants <clears throat> that have grown underneath the weep screed. So we're just talking about a weed that was right up against your concrete foundation and it grows underneath the weep screed. And I've seen these things going all the way to the top of the wall. So hard to imagine. I've seen, I've seen um, remnants and growing plants in every part of a building. I've seen them in bathrooms. I go in there to take a bathtub out and there's a bunch of plants growing in there. I can't think of one spot where I haven't seen uh, or found a either a live plant or a plant that had that it was growing at one time and was now dead. So um, plants do not belong next to your building, um, especially if they're going to be attached to your building. So again, if that's what you really want, just understand the consequences. You know, I've seen plants grow underneath the lap of the siding. Um, they wiggle their way in, and then as the vines get larger, they separate the siding. What happens once the siding gets separated? It starts to separate from the building, creating more areas for moisture to get in and create even more problems in the future. And these gaps will also produce more areas for more plant vines to grow into. So it isn't a good thing, if you can and you really want that look, try to create something, some type of a barrier that's at least 12 inches to 24 inches away from the building and that can be maintained from the back. In other words, you need to be able to have some type of a tool that will trim the back of the plants to keep them away from the building. So great idea. I've always loved the looks of these plants, but understand the consequences if this is what you're planning on doing. If you own a house, you should inspect it regularly. But how can you inspect a home if you don't know what to look for? If you're not looking for a complicated checklist or something that wasn't written in a language that you can't understand anyway, do yourself a favor and visit this website today. The most valuable investment you have must be protected and inspected.